There's a cart. Here it is. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Well done, Mr. Brock. Thank you, Mrs. Brock. just about perfect. I don't know where this corn's coming from. Just a few little kernels. Good morning, it's Sunday and it is beautiful, clear sky and barring no problems with combines or buggies or operators, we should be done soybeans today. Uh, those soybeans that we did yesterday, I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to clean out this auger because we found a few little kernels of corn and that can happen. It was all cleaned out and power washed but uh, there's little crevices that that old grain could get caught up into and I think when it jiggled when we moved it to the spot some of it came down so we have to be very careful because these are uh, they're fussy beans they're identity preserved so you got to keep them very very clean so I'm just gonna grab the shop vac uh, figure out where I have power that took me half an hour and I'm just gonna clean out what I can see there's just a couple kernels of corn and then I'm gonna empty the wagons that we did yesterday into this bin uh, this is one of the bins that are not hooked up to our new grain elevator system. We invested quite a bit in a grain setup, but these couple bins are older and they just aren't. We have to do some work on them before we, if and before we attach it to the, re the rest of the grain handling system. So, so it's still kind of old school and uh, I'm going to get at this before it gets back. It's another busy day and it'll be busy tomorrow and then rain set to come in tomorrow night. So here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is painful. Um, it takes a long time to use the auger for, for beans because we have to run it at about half. Uh, we don't want any cracks or splits in the beans, so we have to run them really, really slow because they're those IP beans. They are just, they're very high maintenance. Yes, we get a premium for them, but it's worth every cent because it is a pain at harvest. So that took us like, it took us a long time to empty four wagons. So now we're just getting ready to go to the fields, drop off some wagons and start. Uh, so we're gonna do that now. I'm starving so I'm hoping that Mark will let me sneak out and grab a snack before we really get going. Whoa! Two hands. 
say we do a lot of complaining as farmers about weather and it's usually because we're behind <laughs> uh, or the weather just does not come at the right time it is a beautiful day it's sunny it's warm it's about like 18 degrees Celsius I have no idea what that is Fahrenheit it is like the the skyline the GPS receiver did the same stupid thing that other one did what it do just have it on wash for now, for today. As I was saying, it is a beautiful day outside. Um, sunny, clear sky, the trees are beautiful. Everything just looks really nice. Yes, we go through a creek, not over a creek, not over a bridge, but through the creek. Do you think you'll make it all the way around or do you want me to follow you back? I'll make it. I was afraid he was going to say that. This little part of the field is glorious. Look at that view.
We finished this field. It's still daylight, which is sweet, barely. The sun, we are losing the sun. We have a tiny little piece in front of uh, Mark's dad's chicken barn uh, that didn't get done. So we are gonna just zoom down there and grab those. And then soybeans are done. Yeah, we'll see once corn. No, I like corn for one day. Yeah. And then I start to dislike corn, and then by the end, I hate corn. There you go. But that's kind of the way it goes. It's harvest. There's the cart. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Well done, Mr. Brock. Thank you, Mrs. Brock. So we are done soybeans, but Mark wants to uh, start planting some wheat tonight. He's exhausted. He's got a really bad headache, so I think he should. I think he should rest. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow evening, so I think he's a bit stressed and wants to get it at least started tonight, and then a good day at it tomorrow. I'm just gonna help him fill the drill right now and uh, see what he's saying. 